We are talking about the found footage movie, The Devil's Doorway, and this one is directed and co-written by Aisling Clark. Now, the story here is, like I say, a found footage movie that focuses on two priests as they are called to a kind of, um, a somewhat remote, uh, in this case, a kind of like a nunnery almost, where they're kind of looking after wayward um, sort of women uh, for an apparent miracle, and they kind of are sent there by the Vatican to investigate it. And while they're there, they're kind of trying to basically uncover the truth of is it if it's a real miracle or ultimately disprove it if it's some kind of hoax. But they find that there may be more going on here, and there, pre uh, there appears to be an ever great evil presence lurking in this in this kind of area. And it leads them to this kind of like underground cavern system where they discover the gruesome fate of the children that came before them. Now this movie is very similar to a film that I have mentioned many times on this channel called Borderlands. Now this film, Borderlands, is a found footage film about two priests that are called in by the Vatican to investigate a, an apparent uh, miracle that takes place in a remote church this time uh, that leads them to discover the horrifying evil that lurks beneath them in these strange caverns where they will find out the fate of the missing children yes this movie is practically a remake of borderlands the only difference is this one's got a uh, possessed girl in it ooh difference now I'm being a little bit facetious here. This is actually quite a well-made film, and it's actually quite a good horror film, but it is so similar to Borderlands. I cannot help but think someone has seen this and gone, well, this is a, this is a barely seen DVD movie that kind of no one's going to really talk about. They won't mind if we blatantly kind of remake it and uh, maybe add a couple of different things to it. It's clearly, clearly influenced by that film. It's so similar. The only real difference here, like I've said, it's set in the 1960s, well it's actually set in 1960, which made me think, hmm, this technology seems a little bit good for 1960, but there you go. And uh, yeah, it, can, it involves a kind of, a, a, kind of a, a possession of a young girl, which isn't in Borderlands, but other than that, it's practically the same film. Uh, like I've said, it is actually quite a good film, it's actually quite a, uh, a believable kind of characters. The two priests here are, are quite good, there's an older one and a younger one just like in Borderlands. The younger one is the kind of more of a techie, just like in Borderlands. And, um, you know, uh, they have their kind of their personal kind of opinion, opinions on it, just like in Borderlands. Uh, so, um, you know, one of them wants to believe, the kind of the younger one wants to believe, the other one's a little bit more kind of like, uh, uh, you know, skeptical about it all. And um, I've got to say, there are some pretty good uh, scope scares, a lot of jump scares. This movie is full and full of jump scares, uh, but there is a, a quite a good sense of unease in it. There is quite a, uh, a, a some good scenes where we're kind of building up the tension and kind of like this uh, ever present kind of like fear and kind of uncertainty. The movie does have a tendency to kind of like move the camera away when stuff actually happens on screen, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, you know, we do see some stuff on screen, probably more than Borderlands, to be fair. But um, you just notice that the, the camera happened to move out of the way or kind of be slightly out of position ultimately when kind of stuff really hits the fan, which is a little bit frustrating. I actually think this movie would have been better uh, if it was a traditional uh, kind of camera angles and, and a narrative like that that would make it some, seem a little bit different than Borderlands. And I think um, because of this being set in 1960, it seems a little bit unfeasible for it to be a kind of a found footage film with the kind of like technology like it was back then. Uh, but the performances are good, like the effects are good, the sense of tension is, is you know, it's pretty damn good here. Um, it's it's a, a little bit kind of convoluted with the plot from time to time. There are a few kind of like beats here that kind of seem to be a somewhat unresolved. Um, so you don't technically get all the answers and certain things seem to be kind of dropped. Um, but it's an enjoyable horror film. I'll give this movie a 6 out of 10. It's it's good on its own, but I may be a little, because Borderlands is one of my favourite horror films, and it is so similar, I cannot help but think it is actually bordering on being somewhat of a rip-off. Uh, so I have to kind of dock a few points for kind of unoriginality here. Uh, but I, th I feel if you're a fan footage film, it's a decent entry. 
and uh, you'll probably get a lot from it. But a 6 out of 10 for me. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.